Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting number 97, middle of February, rolling on through. As always, these meetings are recorded for those people that aren't here with us right now, right here. So if you're watching this later, you know what we're talking about. What are we doing today? We're going to do the weekly 3.10.3 update. That will be very short. Uh, we'll do triage, we'll do a pull request review, and then we'll talk about anything that people want to talk about here. I expect this to be a quick meeting, which will be good. We'll just keep rolling and things like that. So without further ado, 3103, uh, we'll still create a branch soon, not in a huge hurry while we're still waiting for the open issue. Um, the open issue is has some progress, um, gave Microsoft the MSRC number, since apparently an MSRC number helps teams go faster. We'll see. Um, so I guess security issues do make people jump a little higher. Uh, so hopefully they'll give us a little bit more information about this soon, which is basically what I'm saying every week. Um, I think at the end of the month, if we're still saying this, we should talk about what we want to do about um, <laughs> what we're going to do next. But I'm giving another couple of weeks since there is a little bit of progress. Anyway, no real change here at the moment, although I guess I've not given up, not given up hope yet. It's probably the net net of this. Two more weeks, and then I'll be I guess next week, if nothing happens, I'll be discouraged, and the week after that, then I'll be very discouraged, and we should talk about what to do. Triage. Off to the web. Bob, you ready? I am ready. All righty, then. Uh, six open, three already closed. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I'm curious if I do this. Does that work? I don't know. Um... So this is closed nine days ago because it's just a doc issue, or uh, or we don't actually know why this isn't working for him. We don't know. I, um, not eight days ago, I asked for authoring and I haven't heard back. So are we doing one more week? Sure, one more week. Yep. And my mouse cursor's gone. Do 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 do. do. Flying blind. Here we go. Show maintenance UI when Bootstrap is used. Show maintenance yeah, UI is supported as the def for the MSI during oh for the MSI no not supported. It will confuse the when Windows installer and burn and all kinds of stuff. You basically can yep. start an uninstall when burn thinks you're doing a repair or who knows what. So vice yeah, versa. And vice versa. And I don't really appreciate people putting my name on it just to try to elevate this. We do triage. They can wait. If they want to elevate it. They can. Go to Fire Giant. That's where we'll elevate things I, for them. I get the mail anyway, so, you know, yeah. not, it didn't prompt faster response. No, it didn't. In fact, kind of stuff's a good way to kind of upset people. Like, stop. Leave me alone. Stop poking. Um, pass property value to MSI from Bootstrapper during uninstallation based off checkbox. That's totally possible. Yeah, this yeah. isn't a bug. This is a... This is the downfall of calling something an issues tracker. I'm having an issue. Oh, let's go here. So is this a feature request? No, I think this is a how do I do this? All right, tell them to go ask topic. questions on the support A-list. Yep. Why is my keyboard not working now? Key, no keyboard nor, nor mouse? That's a problem. Yeah, just, I don't, it's like I have to click in the window again or something. I don't know. Um... Issue running Wix UI installed or minimal in minimized mode. When you run it, runs fine in full UI. I notice that if it ran and you minimized it, it will finish in the finish dialog appear off the screen to the left side. Oh. Yeah, okay. this is uh, this is MSI behavior. This isn't Wix yeah. UI. Hasn't, yeah, um, this is a... It's been, it's been a while. It's actually, these days it's actually really hard to find you know, like in your typical set of um, SDKs and whatnot. Like, I, I went looking to find Orca mm -hmm. to see if I could, you know, verify this behavior, and it turns out Orca is now built with Wix. So um, that wasn't terribly useful. <laughs> um, but I, I've seen this before with other, you know, with BD Proj. It's uh, an MSI uh, UI problem. Yeah, it's behavior. MSI. Yeah. It's an MSI UI. Okay, cool. So we can redirect them to go open a bug against the Windows installer team. Good luck with that, but just saying. Sure. Adding big bundle payload, adding big payload crashes. Try to add something. Uh, be around four gigabytes. You want to create a single f 
payload, that's four gigabytes? Or I guess even the camera. Anyway, resolve payload info. Well, we should not have, yeah, we should not handle that. Or we should handle that better. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. So 3x. Or we can put it in four, whichever. Um, I, you know, this is just an additive warning or yeah. catch the exception so. and spit out a nice yeah. error message saying, oh, yeah, it's too big. Cabs won't like it. Yeah. Well, this is, I, so the downside is this is a case even without uh, creating a compressed bundle. I'm pretty sure we handle four gigs for payloads. It's. Well, that's only on the payload. binder. The binder could yeah. have that mistake, but I'm pretty sure the. the oh, it's, yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying this support. doesn't work today. This doesn't work today because the the file size is an int. Um, probably, yeah, burn should be fine with it, but yeah, you can't you can't get a manifest to say that burn handles it. Right. So we could fix this by being a uint in the code instead of an int um, for payload size, and then letting burn handle up. And then, of course, sure. failing when the overflow goes over four gigs when someone tries to do that. Actually, now I'm curious. Does does burn treat it as a 32-bit? Actually, most of the burn sizes are DWORD 64s. That's what I was thinking. I'm wondering, if this might actually work all the way through. Yeah, the multi-terabyte. Uh, yeah. Now, of course, you can't get it into a cab, but that's a cab no. limitation. Right. Pretty sure it's 64. Yeah, John and I are pretty sure it's 64. Anyway, so the tooling needs to be fixed so it handles this correctly. cursor for a second. So anyway, not good. What we support should actually be the right thing. Hi team. That's pretty much guaranteed to be a support question. <laughs> while while the application I am getting the error below. I don't without the error number that would actually make it useful. I don't know where this is even happening. Uh, my guess is validation, but... Uh, yeah, they should... Voice users, we can have a conversation about it. Yep. Ah, uh, 310... Did... This error, I saw it restart. All right, we need to just improve our UI a little bit to put the error message in there, in the UI, and maybe handle this one in particular, because it's like the second bug in two weeks, I feel like. Each triage session, I feel like, maybe even for the last triage session, three triage sessions, I feel like we've hit somebody that had this problem exactly. Well, you know, if we just went to work standard BA, we'd get all these fixes for free. Uh, yes, but then we wouldn't have a managed BA. We could ship it as a sample. The managed BA? Sure. But we wouldn't be testing it. That's what I worry about more. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll open an issue that we should improve our UI. Honestly, our UI could do with a refresh whatever we do. I still think having it as being managed code is a good thing. If We, we need a managed code thing that we run regularly. So I think standard BA is getting beat up a lot more than any random managed code thing. One plus. <laughs> Feels like one plus. Burn, show files, and Windows XP. Simple bundle. With standard BA show files and you set to yes. Works. It does nothing under XP. Oh, it shows my app correctly. However, choosing that does nothing under XP. Yeah, that's true. It wouldn't because there's no restart manager. Before Vista, we had, well, even today, we still have files in use and MSIRM files in use. Yes. 
So and what standard bay basically has only RM files in use. Does nothing under XP. Does it not even well you must get a restart in the end. Right? Okay. Well, not necessarily, but probably. Well, it must. Right? I mean, it's not just going to fail. No, no. I'm I'm saying there's no guarantee. I've had this problem before because of the way the the restart manager dialog is worded. You know, a root a reboot will be required, but of course, sometimes it's not. <laughs> right. Yeah, you know, pessimistic. Right. Restart manager messaging. That burn either waits until the app is closed, retry, or the files in the. So this basically says that this dialog that we're showing isn't correctly handling the files in use dance that you have to do. And it's kind of it's it's annoying because you can say you shouldn't even be getting the restart manager a call, and you can then you should be able to respond to the files in use because basically. Restart manager files and use fires, if you say the correct answer to that, or if you say don't use restart manager, you can fall back to the files and use and have that then try to do its thing. And you basically rotate through the two of them as you keep trying, depending, you can, depending on who's, the error who's, codes. You, who's we? Uh, the external it, UI handler. Right. Um, is this, is this burn you're talking about? Not doing the right thing? No, well... It's either burn not exposing enough or the BA not doing enough to know the complexity that you can have with the restart files and use, sorry, with the files and use dialog. It's way more complicated than it seems like it should be, is what I, I remember. And so you have to do this carefully. So this could be, a, I, I don't know, the sh files and use stuff I haven't looked at. Um, it came in later. Um, so I'm wondering if there's just something in it that doesn't handle this particular case correctly. It's not as simple as it you might think it should be, just coming out of nowhere. Well, I remember the change. I don't know the burn side of it, though, enough to say if burn's doing the right thing. Yeah. I don't remember that we did a whole lot to, you know, kind of integrate the concepts, but like I said... I don't know that we... I think the only thing we did was try to get the data normalized, sort of. <laughs> it was like, here's the set of files that you get, because there's, they come in messages differently from the Windows installer. And so we try to say, here are your set of files, no matter which message came up. But after that, you have to know. Yeah, all right. Well, there's probably a problem in here, I guess, is where I'm at, given the complexity of it. That would probably be a good thing to look at at some point in the future if someone wanted to. It's, it's, I guess what I'm getting to. It's like, this is probably actually a bug. Um, but is this a bug in anything on anything other than XP? Um, it would be if you didn't want this. Restart Manager. If you, didn't want re if you didn't want to use Restart Manager, it would be, I bet. Okay. I, given the complexity but, of handling it, I, that I remember with the files in use, the two files in use that you can have, it wouldn't yeah. surprise me if this only supports the restart one, which means if you don't sure. use that, it doesn't work quite right, even though right. it still comes up. Which is up. why I asked about whether it was on the burn side, because, again, if burn isn't making it clear between the two or is, you know, not, I don't know, not supporting both, whatever, um, then there might not be anything the BA could do because it's relying on burn to pump the right you know, files and use messages. That's entirely possible. That or this code didn't pick up the thing that burn tried to tell it that there's two sure, files sure. in use and it's not. And it's always saying, hey, would you like to use Restart Manager? And Burns like, um, you know that message I just sent you doesn't actually let you use Restart Manager? It's like, use it! And Burns like, fine. When is a installer? Try to use the Restart Manager. It's not going to work. Have a nice day. Bye. Continue. <laughs> um, Cause oh that's it. The return codes from the two callbacks are different as well. 
uh, to the Windows installer. And I don't remember what burn does in that case. It's like you get OK cancel files in use, and you get retry, abort retry ignore in uh, the restart manager case, or something like that. All right, anyway, yeah. uh, this requires more research to go into it, so I'm going to go dig into the files in use and play with it for a while. Um, hopefully you can try it without XP by dis setting the disable restart manager and still get files in use kind of behavior, um, if someone want to try to take a stab at it. Uh, so after that, you know, do you want to put it in 3x or 4x? Uh, that's a post-research decision. Okay. If if it's a burn change, probably four. Yep. Where do you want to put it right now? To be a, um, we don't have to put it anywhere. Okay. You can put it in three. If, yeah, it's fine. All right. Variable constants seem sticky between executions of light.exe. What? No one has ported the files and used to Wix for standard VA. All right, well, that's a, another work item to do there, too. Might be a good thing to do at the same time. Kind of poking at it. All right. There appears to be inconsistency in my project whereby light uses values for its search folder that were calculated during a previous run. You have a NAND build script that invokes a Wix bootstrap project. Is that a Wix proj or... Assume yes. Okay. Wix immediately builds the Wix MSI project. Okay. That immediately builds and my custom actions. Okay. So we're going to pretend that this is NANT driving MS build for now. My custom action CA can can be seen in the debug x64, which I'm correctly uses the output folder. When the build log gets when the build log gets as far as a call to light.exe and error reports that it can't find debug x86 custom action deal. Yeah, the problem is which call to light? Presumably yeah. the MSI. Probably. But how is he passing this in? Like I don't even It it's way too vague, yeah. Yeah, so let's send this guy to the mailing list. He can talk about it for a while and if we find that there's actually a bug, we can open that. That works. Jacob says it's a bit rough. I don't know if he's talking about the files. It must be files and use stuff he's talking about. I do have an XP VM, but it's soon to be decommissioned. I almost understand what that means. I well, that means that files and use doesn't support XP quite right. So the, the sticky has a whole way too much vague information to be useful there. I have to go have a conversation about it. And maybe there's a problem, but and if it's actually a literal underscore. He's doing something else in the projects to get that because, of course, the default is right. You know, so separate subdirectory. So, um, Bob, do you know if there's a way of getting a message up here where it says clear current search query? sorts like you can with uh, pull requests of the Sorry, here's how what? you should is there a way to put in github you mentioned there's some way like in pull requests to say here's how you contribute yeah yeah uh, contributing that md and no there's nothing equivalent for issues yeah. this has been a big thing in in uh uh well the blogosphere can you still say that um about a couple of bigger open source projects you know they did the gear github repo actually um, and the most common complaint from a bunch of these teams is issues basically hasn't issue, the issues feature hasn't improved since they released 2.0, which was years ago. Hmm. Um, and this this problem in particular has come up again and again, um, where you know without without a template and or custom fields, um, there's a lot of of what we're seeing here, which is uh, which is it's very easy to, to file one of these things so people use it for everything. Um, it's actually really interesting because we didn't see that quite as much I know. when we had issues on wixtoolset.org. I know. And it might very well have been that just that the extra 
bump of having to create an account there uh, was enough to, you know, discourage that kind of behavior. On the other hand, if you look at, you know, this week's bugs and last week's bugs, um, 40% or so maybe are, are from people who registered accounts, you know, the day they opened a bug. So it doesn't seem to be a huge bump anymore, but that could just be, you know, GitHub versus Wix toolset. I don't know. There's something about there's something about this I find. It's like I th maybe people are expecting to be able to have conversations and issue trackers in GitHub. Like that's what they well, want. Well, there's no there's no forum on on GitHub, and so a lot of a lot of projects do use issues as mm -hmm. you know protracted discussion. Um, mm -hmm. The there's a group I don't remember which project it is uh, that actually <laughs> actually wrote a bot uh, that. Auto, automatically closes issues that don't follow their their template. I'm like, well, it's a little rude, but on the other hand, the, it's a big problem. Those, you know, you go to the issues tracker and you know, you and actually we kind of support this right from Wixelset.org. If you go to the to the bugs page, mm -hmm. you know, like here's the data you should supply, but if you click the open an issue link. It's a bam. You know, you're you're open in a thing that lets you type a title and whatever the hell you want in the big text box. All right. So I th submit. I think it's worth it to. God, can I get there? Freaking mouse cursor. Maybe this will do it. Uh, this is so hard without mouse cursor. I think we need to fill in this. I mean, this is bad. We haven't done this yet, but we need yeah. to put a README here. And we should point everything to this instead of opening a new issue. Okay. Let's see if that helps at all. Um, if it doesn't, yeah. then we can just at least we can just respond to tickets that are conversational to the README here and start trying to get a culture of going, look, read the README at least, right? And then go, oh, so I shouldn't have conversations. And all right, so Wix doesn't want conversations in their issue tracker, which we don't. All right, great. I will open issues when something's clearly a Wix issue versus a I'm not using Wix wrong, right? Yeah. Which may yeah. be a Wix bug. We'll happily have that. But if it's not, we don't want to try issue tracker. We don't have a huge conversation on our issue trackers. So, all right, I think we should probably do that and then update the website to point this readme. Yep, I agree. I'd like to volunteer you for that, but... <laughs> um, but if you're like, no, then I guess I'll do it. I'm not saying no, just I'm not signing up right now. Okay. Someone else wants to take a shot at trying to write this. You guys have been around for long enough to know kind of what we're looking for. It's like, do this, do this if you want, then open an issue, and then we'll go up, update the Wix website to point all this. At this page, at the readme here instead of the issues. All right. Do something. Something. Yeah, no, it's a good idea. And I like the idea of it's not just here's how you open a bug. It's, hey, we don't do these kind of conversations. It's like, yeah. let's, we don't do them here. Yeah. We do them elsewhere. Let's, we don't do them here. Yeah, yeah. That's what mailing lists are for. Exactly. Because we don't have a lot of triage around mailing lists and a bunch of people will help you, where we have a process around triage here. So you're taking up time. Yeah. All right, let's go talk about 184, which I have here. And now my mouse cursor is here. It's like, all I have to do is flip a page on PowerPoint? I don't know. Anyway, it's good timing for it to come back. I'm not complaining, I'm not complaining, I'm not complaining. Um, uh, silly thing. All right. Um, forgot how much code you have to write to put these things in here. So this now adds the list of 461 to the items of the, the um, package group that you can have to refer to .NET Framework, both as web and web's a prereq. Good stuff. 461 or later is installed. This, I expect, is pretty cut and paste and then tweaked, right? This is a strange URL for the license. Is that really the license? Yeah. No. 
Okay. Now this is remember we have this problem where the EULAs are not getting posted. The I thought uh, they were fixing. Did they not fix that for four six? I don't know. I wasn't there at that time. Oh yes, I was. Uh, but four six one, I don't know about. Um, oh, this is weird. Look at this. I want to write something. It says nothing in preview. I go to preview, and now I can write something. <laughs> go home, get hub. You're drunk. Go home, IE. Nah, maybe. The problem is that I found that Firefox was messing up my screen sharing. I think. Well. <laughs> so I have to figure that out. Well, every time I kept bringing Firefox and screen sharing, it started getting messed up. So we're getting that solid black screen all the time. So I don't know what's going on there. So it's like IE behaves correctly, but GitHub doesn't behave well in IE. Um, All right, we'll go from there. Twice, then it works. Um, that URL, that license is such a problem. Yeah. Yes, it is. But luckily, you wrote that web, so wait. I know, I know. <laughs> Someone actually commented on that bug. I know, that made me, that made me go, good, someone actually cares, so I'm going to go fix it now. Right. <laughs> um... Package group, EULA link. This is all very standard sort of stuff. Official documentation can be that, right? Web link, Redis link. I really wish we could find the EULA link somewhere near these. Um, well, if you want to set up a for loop and go through FW link IDs, uh, find it. that's actually interesting. No, sorry. Um, uh, 4x release, so we go and get 4x released installed. I see, so if you pull in this, you're going to get the NetFX 4x release as well. Okay. Oh, it's based off of it. Very good. I see, so all we have to do is figure out, is it greater than, this is the release for... Right, what 4x is installed, and then make sure it's higher than or greater than or equal to the number that we actually care about here. Yay, got it. I can read code. Um, we refer to the 4.5 search. 4.6 is in the 4.5 search. Okay. Uh, yes. Wow. The all, all, uh, yeah, I know. People <laughs> complain about this as well. Um, so all of the, all of, all of, uh, 4.x versions of .NET use the same scheme to, you know, declare how they work, you know, how they're installed. Mm -hmm. um, so someone during the appropriate time introduced basically duplicates of the .NET Framework 4.0 values we had and introduced them as .NET Framework 4.5. Um, I don't want to create yet more duplicates, so I've, I've resisted so far the urge to add, you know, Net Framework four six. Now, if I were smart, I would do, I would yet again duplicate the values to say, you know, Net Framework four X. Mm -hmm. But again, it's a duplication, and that just gives me the highest. So I've avoided the problem entirely, I just, except I've kept the problem of, but I'm looking for 4.6. Why doesn't that work? So, yeah. I'm inclined for the duplication to avoid the confusion because it's not like you're going to end up with it all in your MSI, right? I mean, assuming you only pick one of these. I guess it's duplication if you're detecting 4.6 and 4.5 and 4.0 all the same. Like, hey, I'm running the same search three times to set three different IDs, but it's a problem. Well, yeah, I I appreciate your perspective. Um, I'm I'm not thrilled with the idea that you know what comes up next is oh well why shouldn't I be using Net Framework four five two 
that's the framework I'm looking for. I'm fine if you want to say it should, we should add the 4x and stop the madness. That is one option. I just haven't okay. wanted to do it. So. I, I'm in, well, I'm inclined that we should do that so that when we bring this over to 4, we can delete the 4 or 5 construct and the 4o construct and just use the 4x construct everywhere. Yeah, that'd be smart. Okay. So this came, did he saw this when because 4.6 does it this way? I imagine, yeah. Okay. I'm not I should know because I did it, but I don't recall off the top okay. of my head. I'm not going to put the bug here then. Yeah, there's 4.6. I'm not going to put the bug here. Yeah, but at least 4.5, Sean, and 4.5.1, I mean, I could see you saying, all right, here's 4.5. You're like, great, that'll apply for dot one, dot two. That, I mean, that's less confusing when you see here. You're like, oh, yeah, look, here's 4.5, greater than 4. You're like, no, 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 that's a mistake. That's clearly not what you wanted, right? Well, no, actually, it is what you want. What? That's what? Now I'm confused. Um, so that's the, the confusion I'm hoping to avoid. Well, do, if... if if you're confused by it, you probably have done something bad and you deserve to be confused. <laughs> uh, is this one documented, not net framework four or five? Or is it an internal registry search? No, it's documented. Okay. Oh, actually, sorry, I don't know that. The 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 properties are Yes. I don't know that we document the searches. Right. The burn searches. Right. Because then you could kinda go well, maybe we'll just change the internal implementation detail. Um, well, yeah, we could do that. And make them all 4x. Get rid of the duplicates and move them all to 4x and go... Well, but that's only going to get rid of the burn duplicates. Okay. I'm saying we have properties the same. MSI properties the same. Yes. Yeah, that's not here in this change, though. No, because they're in one place, because that's the only place they need to be. Right. In 4 or 5. All right. Otherwise, this is all right, except I worry about this URL, which I'm going to worry about this URL. So I want to see what the feedback comes on that. Otherwise, yeah, cool. Good job taking a look at the code and going, ah, well, I just need to do all of that again, which is, you know, a block of work with a whole lot of data that you have to go get from uh, the excitement that is 4.6, you know, like this. But hey, good job, which is way better than all those people are going, please fix this, please fix this, which I don't remember where that bug is. Um, does this pull request refer to that those changes? Yes. Issue 4976, but it does not say it will fix it. Okay, that's fine. I have found a way to do that during the pull request. Um, and it will probably need a history entry. Okay. Um, also, maybe worth looking just to verify that I didn't miss all it, did the... I? Okay. What? Sorry, go ahead. All the, the hashes were properly harvested for remote payload. Yeah. I, I'm yes, I'm also prepared for someone else to file the bug and have them fix it. So, sure, whichever way you want to do that. I'd rather do do that up front. Okay. Um, is it readme.md? Uh, Sean, I was just, the file that I always have to remember not to whack as I'm messing around in there. Yay. All right. Okay. Pretty good. There probably is. One of these days I'll go do that. Actually, I think you have to actually provide the link and given my mouse cursor's problems that I've had, like now again. Oh, there, it's back. Um, I'll 
to it. But maybe one day I'll get used to that. So, anything else? Close to a half hour, about 35 minutes at this point. Sorry, I called me late. Jacob, glad you made it. Um, anything else people got? Goings on? Uh, only that they have an MSRC and we've were given them the MSRC that we had for the other issue and we're hoping that helps them actually do the work, fix something. <laughs> At least light a fire under them to get them doing something. So we'll see. Apparently the issues moved from wind forms to GDI. So it's actually a GDI plus, sorry, GDI plus issue. So they're trying to go figure out what that means. Anything else? Nope. Nope. Ah, I still like our logo. I do. All right. On that note, you guys have a wonderful week. We'll talk again next week. Hopefully we'll have answers and things like that. But if not, we'll have well, more progress in uh, some direction. Anyway, until next week, you guys have a good one. Bye. Bye. Bye.